Are you experiencing melting plants in your aquarium? Well in today's video we're going to be looking at three most common reasons why your aquarium plants might be dying. I've had lots of plants melting in my experience of fish keeping. Melting is just where the plants shed all their leaves and turns yellow and molds back basically. Today we're going to be looking at the three causes and also some fixes for each of those causes to help you revive your melting aquarium plants. Let's dive straight into the video. Okay, so the first reason could be that your aquarium plants are readjusting to a new environment. So when you do buy your plants from your local fish store and add them to your new aquarium, or maybe you transport them from another tank, they've got to readjust to all the new parameters in the water, the different lighting, the different fertilizer, the different substrate, anything that's changed, they've got to readjust to that. And what they'll do is melt back all their leaves and even their stems sometimes and regrow new leaves and stems depending on the different aquarium plants. Basically, they just melt back what they already have and they regrow themselves matching to the environment that they're in. Now you'll also experience melting in your aquarium plants when you just change one little element of the tank. You use a different fertilizer, different substrate, maybe a different light so you'll get a bit of melting back on the certain aquarium plants. Aquarium plants melt more than others. Some don't even melt when you add them to your aquarium because they're very hardy and they easily adjust or they were in a very similar environment before put into that tank. Now there are ways you can avoid melting when setting up a new aquarium but you've just got to be patient let nature do its thing this time around you just gotta wait it out let the plants melt and then grow back now also make sure when you are adding new plants to your aquarium that they are suitable for your lighting and if they do need co2 add co2 but of course do research before you buy plants if you don't want to add co2 to your aquarium maybe you didn't change anything to your tank or you don't have a new setup what else could be causing your aquarium plants to melt well the second reason could be nutrient deficiency so this can be super common and basically Basically, it's where the leaves turn yellow or white on your plants and they flake away over time. Now, eventually, they will shed off the stem as well. Now, the reasons why you could have a nutrient deficiency could be because you're not adding any or enough fertilizers to your aquarium. So, I highly recommend for every planted aquarium that you add liquid fertilizers and maybe some root tabs. Make sure that fertilizer and nutrients are reached to any sort of aquarium plant you've got in your tank. Another reason you have a nutrient deficiency is because your aqua soil might have run out of nutrients. You might rely on your aqua soil in your tank like your shrimp substrate but over time aqua soil runs out of nutrients and you have to replace it every year or two depending on the aqua soil you get. So nutrient deficiency is basically where there's not enough nutrients in the water column or wherever your plants take the nutrients in the tank. So you need to make sure that there are nutrients coming in for every single plant and you can tell because when the leaves on your plants turn yellow that means there's not enough nutrients in the tank and that means you need to add a bigger dose of fertilizers or try a different fertilizer get new aqua soil maybe a way to fix this is just simply by making sure that there's nutrients in the tank getting on top of your fertilizers and a nutrient rich substrate like maybe adding some potting mix underneath your main substrate will really help and might fix the problem okay so the third reason could be iron deficiency now the cause of this is because there might not be enough iron in the water column plants need iron red plants especially need more iron to develop that red but when there's an iron deficiency plants can't produce as much chlorophyll which can be a problem. Now the nerves of the leaves take longer to lose color so you'll kind of see that the leaves of your aquarium plants start turning white but the veins still stay green or whatever color they were and usually you see the symptoms of iron deficiency in the new grown leaves and stems of your aquarium plants so that's why fast growing plants are easier to tell because they'll be growing really quickly and they'll show those symptoms almost straight away. Other ways of spotting iron deficiency in your tank is if you see black spots or holes on the leaves. Now the simple solution for this is to simply just buy some liquid iron from your local fish store. They should have it in several different brands and dose the tank according to the dosage instructions and just make sure there's iron in the tank for your plants and that'll fix the iron deficiency therefore you won't have dull colored plants with holes in their leaves. Well there you have three reasons why your aquarium plants may be melting or dying. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Have an awesome day and I'll see you all in the next video.